So in the last video, we looked at how to create basic edits, um, do some of the annotations and those things. In this video, we're going to look at how to upload this video um, to YouTube, but also then just how to save it out to your computer so that we can upload it to other services as well. When you're in Camtasia, to export this to YouTube, once you're completed with your edits, you want to go up to Share and down to YouTube. If you don't have a YouTube account, you can cl click on the Create New Account below. But if you do have an account, you want to put your email address and your password and click Sign In. After you click on Sign In, you'll need to add a title. You can add tags at this point, description. And then under Privacy, you have a couple options. You have Public, Unlisted, and Private. Public, it'll show up in your um, in your video section of your channel at YouTube. So anybody will be able to see the video, watch the video. If you set to unlisted with an unlisted video, that video then is available to anybody that has the URL, but it won't show up at, on your channel listings and it won't show up in search results. The last one is private. Private, if I set it up as private, that means nobody um, can watch the video unless I give them specific um, access to the video using their email. So I'd actually have to go in and say this particular email address can watch this video. For most of the videos that I create, I actually create, publish them as unlisted and then I'll go check on them and if you know I want one to be public, I can always change that at YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the title the same. I'm not going to worry about filling out anything else and I'm going to go ahead and keep the privacy as unlisted and click on share. So we're going to go ahead and pause and let the processing happen and return here when it's completed. When the export and upload completes, you should get a dialog box that gives you the video URL. So you can click on launch URL to actually go to the video online. You can copy this um, or it also gives you the embed code. So I'm going to go ahead and click on launch URL. At YouTube, we now see that we have a message that the video is being processed. Um, underneath that, it says this video is unlisted. Only those with the link can see it. Um, so the video is being processed. It will take a couple minutes for it to be available at YouTube. And so you want to kind of make sure that you're not um, creating a video that you need to uh, display immediately. Um, allow a little bit of time for it to process at YouTube. Then you should be able to utilize the video. So we're going to go ahead and close out of the dialog box. Another thing that some people um, will do is actually export the video to their local computer. So we can go up to Share, and let's go down to Export. Under Export, we just have very basic settings. We can actually look at smaller file size, higher quality. Um, it saves it out as a .mp4 file, and then we have an export option. If you want to have additional options, you want to go down to Share and Advanced Export. Under Advanced Export, under the Export option, we have Export to QuickTime Movie. And then if we drop that open, we see that there are some other options there. We're going to go ahead and leave it at QuickTime Movie and click on the options to the right. So some of those settings are, if we click on Settings, we can look at the quality. Um, in our case, it's bumped all the way over to best, which is where we want it. Um, we can keep the frame rate current, and we can look at the compression type. If Unless you're wanting to change that, I wouldn't worry about that. Under filter, typically we don't worry about the filter too much, but you can play around with this um, with your future videos. Um, size. So size, we recorded our video at 1280 by 720 and we want to publish it at 1280 by 720. So for the dimensions, we want to make sure that we have the exact dimensions for our video. Under sound, we can adjust these if we choose. Um, typically, you don't have to. And then we can click on OK. So for the export to QuickTime movie, I'm going to go ahead and just choose a location on my computer. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my desktop and click on Export. When your QuickTime movie finishes exporting, you will get an export finished and you will see Reveal and Finder and Close. So if you click on Reveal and Finder, 
you will get a window that pops up showing you where the file is located. Now you can upload that file um, to another service. Um, here at the University of Portland, we have MediaSpace. Um, we could upload it to that service now um, or some other service like screencast.com. In future videos, we will go over how to upload um, media to different services and also how to embed those videos into different sites.